I feel like everybody becoming one, becoming a bigger family. Uh, everybody here has been welcoming me in with uh, open arms. Um, I really feel like we got a shot to do something special this year. What kind of came, went into your decision to come to Indiana this year? Uh, so, Coach Shelby, when I entered the transfer portal, Coach Shelby, uh, he had called my phone and he was like, hey man, you're gonna have a real good opportunity to play here, uh, play against uh, the top talent, um, day in, day out, every game throughout the season. So. I just seen an opportunity and took it and ran with it. I guess now that you're here working with Coach Shelby, what's what's that been like? Oh man, <laughs> you crazy. Uh, <laughs> Coach Shelby, a good dude, man. Everybody, uh, all the coaches on his staff is really Christian guys. Uh, really, just they they make sure that you're okay here. Like they're about the player before they, you know what I'm saying? Like they care about you more than just the player. Why why do you say he's crazy? <laughs> oh man, because he. He, 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 he's calm and co cool and collective uh, for most of the part. But when you, you know, you know how cousins do, when you do wrong, yeah, he gonna let you know. Do you kind of like that coaching style, I guess? Yeah, I do, I do. Um, he really making me a better player. Uh, he's bringing that dog, I want to say, like that dog out of me. I mean, it's been inside, but he really like embracing it more for me. What kind of aspects of your game, have, <clears throat> excuse me, what kind of aspects of your game have been unlocked since you've been here? Uh, so I really I've been I've been decent at at man, but I'm really starting to like me being an older guy in the room now. I'm starting to really like understand the scheme because where I came from, we were in the same similar scheme. But I'm really starting to know what everybody's job is now, and um, really I feel like my man coverage is getting better. There are a lot of kind of veteran guys in the secondary that, that left the program now, you know, for you know what, for whatever reasons and. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of new faces there now. What's kind of the chemistry of the room like? Um, we working. We um, we're coming together as one. I mean, as a like I said earlier, um, we're really trying to just create that bond with each other. You know, we got new faces. Everybody don't really like. Everybody's not comfortable with everybody yet, but we gonna get there. And I feel like, for the most part, we all like got good chemistry together. How did the offensive skill guys kind of test you guys in practice each day? Uh, so really, um. We got a lot of bigger frame receivers, so they, they like deep ball threats and uh, the speed. So it's really just me getting adjusted to that. Um, I got to get adjusted to the new play style. You know what I mean? Come from the Big 12 and the Big 10, it's two different conferences. So really just getting adjusted uh, day in, day out, just going one-on-one -on -one with the receivers, trying to make them better. What is the main difference between those two play styles? Is it more physical? Uh, I wouldn't say it's more physical, but I feel like the Big 12 is more air raid, mm -hmm. but the Big 10, you're going to have to fit that run. So. so what's it been like making that adjustment? What do you think you've had to try to improve on uh, to kind of make that adjustment, I guess? Uh, really just studying my playbook more, uh, watching more film, um, getting comfortable and familiar with everything. You mentioned kind of bringing that dog out of you this, this time around. Uh, what do you think has allowed you to kind of get to that next level? Uh, hard work and dedication. I mean, just consistently doing what I'm supposed to do, uh, doing extra, making sure I'm tight on everything that I need, and uh, really just trying to establish that leader role in the position room, in the cornerback room. When you talk about kind of getting used to everybody still, obviously Noah Pierre is like one of the main returning veterans in that group. What, what's it been like kind of working with him? Uh, me and him, we're we getting way more tighter, I feel like. He, he's a little quiet, like off the field, but on the field, he know how to turn it on, so he like, yeah, he got that edge, and I, I respect him a lot for that. What does establishing that leadership role look like for you? Uh, Really just taking a young guy, because we got a, a couple young guys in the room, taking them under my wing, trying to let them know that I'm here for them. Whatever they need, they can call on me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you want to call to get in extra work? It is what it is. I'll, I'll come up here and get it. Who's been that young guy you've taken in so far? Uh, Really everybody. Uh, Travell, uh, James Mon, uh, Jamari Sharp, and Aaron. So yeah. What do you like about those guys? They cool, man. They cool. <laughs> I can't complain. They cool. Your brother's transferring here too. I guess yeah. also what how, how cool has that been uh, to? Oh man. Be so uh, we played together our last year um, in high school. He was a senior. I was a junior. So having him back on the same team with me, I feel like it's just the greatest thing. Cause I mean, who closer to me than him? So. All right, Cody, thanks, bud. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.